Welcome to the land of the living dead and your host Gandhi, formerly nicknamed the Great Soul, which is of no use here and to me Napoleon. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Welcome. Okay, here's the problem. Your television has just gone dead. Something my friend. Here and I know very well. And now you wonder how you're going to buy a new one. Napoleon. Why do you have to stress the fact that we're dead again and again? It's like beating a dead horse. Now no one's going to believe what you say. Who would believe a dead man? Relax Gandhi. We might not watch as much television these days but at least lots of television is made about people like us. What would the zombie movies, the crime scene investigation shows be? Without us? Corpses are in vogue. And being dead has its privileges. Now if it would only get me laid. You dirty dirty old dead man. So how do you buy a new television? Here's the scenario. Your television has passed away after serving you for a long time. Bought at a time before buzzwords like LED TV, high definition television, and so on. So when you see technical descriptions of televisions and ads, or it some tech website this modern television jargon does nothing but confuse you so what do you do you drive to your nearest electronics store where a friendly salesperson will try to persuade you to splurge on the most expensive tv model they have probably with some incredibly huge screen size how about 80 inches will that do oh napoleon you're in a super mood today just don't sweat it or you're superb Hollywood makeup will disintegrate. Old Gandhi is worried about our appearance? How was it when you were lying in bed with those young girls, testing your powers of chastity? Did you think of appearance then? Victory attained by violence is tantamount to a defeat, for it is momentary. Oh, you're angry? Okay, okay, just kidding. Andy who runs if I had the cash.org told me that he worked for a year as a promoter for a television related product in the largest electronic stores in his country. He can happily say that the store employees never pushed potential television buyers into buying something that wouldn't suit their needs. The reason in case you're wondering why is actually simple, if they had done that, they would run the risk of angry customers returning televisions, perhaps never buying in that store again with razor thin profit margins already making life difficult the last thing they need is disgruntled customers he did notice on occasion though that buyers would return modern flat screen televisions for just one simple reason size it was too big to fit into their television viewing space they told him that sitting in front of the tv with the eyes shifting left and right all the Time to take in the whole television image was too much a strain. While some like the totally immersed television experience and want to sit very close, it wasn't right for them. So, here's item number one of a simple TV buying checklist for you. Get the size right. Make sure when you watch television that you can comfortably take in the entire image without having to strain your eyes. Okay, fine. But what size is ideal? There's a rule of thumb among manufacturers and also television reviewers. You measure first how far away you want or can sit from your television due to space restraints. Once you've got that number divided by 2.5. And he says his television has a 46 inch display. And when he's sitting on his comfortable sofa with the shoulders. Back the distance is exactly 9.67 feet or 295 centimeters. The ratio between distance and screen size. In his case is just about 2.52, and he says it's perfect. He doesn't even have to sit right in front. If he wanted he could easily shift his viewing angle by 30 degrees or so. Most importantly he does not have to strain his eyes moving left and right to take in the full picture. It's all there. If you're watching high quality material, real full high definition images, meaning with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, you could easily sit closer 
Remember that most HD or high definition view watch might use the 720p standard which comes down to a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels only. However, this HD standard called 720p has a higher frame rate of 60 than the usual 30. Otherwise most HD TV is in the form of 1080i. That's another acronym that you probably seldom see but is under the hood of much of today's high definition television worldwide. BBC HD is N1080i, or Animal Planet. 1080i is the same amount of pixels as Full HD, that is 1920 by 1080 pixels, but the lines on the screen are scanned differently. My apologies for generalizing a bit here, but it could easily get very complicated if I'm not stopping. That was a bit technical but now you sound cool when you mention these acronyms to a stranger you meet in an elevator. Returning to size, let's say you want a television with a 46 inches display, a good medium size. You probably know the TV size in inches. Always pertains to the distance measured diagonally, inside the frame, the actual display size, from the bottom left corner to the top right corner. This is how you calculate the ideal distance using the rule of thumb. You take 46 and divide it by 12. Why? Because there are 12 inches in one foot. So that gives you 3.8333 feet. Now multiply that by 2.5 and you get 9.58 feet, or in centimeters 292. Remember that is a rule of thumb. Your mileage might vary, always depending how the room looks like how much furniture you have in there and so on. So before you think about buying a new television, get the measurements, and then apply the 2.5 rule of thumb to come up with a television screen size that could work. We continue the television buying checklist in the next video, could buy from us. Don't forget we're dead. We can't be held responsible if you buy the wrong television, so make sure you invest a little time before you buy. Hey Gandhi. Any last words?